Hello, oh. Magoos. What's up? Hey, we are... It's 9.30. We just saw... It's a nice watch. Yeah. An awful movie. Kidding! It was awesome. It was we just came out of Suicide Squad. I loved it. Like, honestly... It was awesome, man. All other critics, I don't know what you're saying. Like, sure, the plot's a little bit of a mess, but it's literally, like, the f like most fun I've ever had. Like, that movie was awesome. <laughs> so cool. My favorite part was either like the beginning sequence with like showing how some of them got there and stuff like that. Well, I guess it's not really a spoiler. Well, it's, it's, not, alert. it's not a spoiler. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. Just, I'm just I'm throwing it out. All I gotta say, this review will be mullet style. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, more towards the end of the video, we'll start getting to spoiler territory, but you're fine for a good chunk of it, alright? So okay. there you go. Eugene okay. mullet? Yes. yes. Anyway, by the way, this is our pal Anthony. Hello. He's an honorary Magoo of the Week. So oh, there you go. I've probably the... joined in the rosters several times. So mm -hmm. I bought the ticket, so I ended he up going. He did. Okay. Get us started with non spoiler type stuff. Okay. So first good things. So the chemistry of the team was yes. great. I loved Harley and Deadshot's dynamic. Mm -hmm. And basically like I don't know, but like his Deadshot's kind of a cold character in this movie. But Harley kind of brings out something in him, I see. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because, like, he's cold for a bit, but then, like, you know, Harley's, like, that fun, eccentric type of woman, so. Yeah, that brings it out. Um, I I really liked, uh, but, like, liked to hate Amanda Waller's character. Like, oh, I, like, I hate her. She was, I think she did a wonderful job oh, portraying the character. Was, that's why you want to hate her. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's exactly Davis, how it's supposed sorry. to be. Oh, she was perfect as uh, Amanda Waller. Like, she's a stone cold bitch. That's what she is. And, like, straight up it, gangster. She's straight up gangster. Because she's just. Quote from the movie. It's like, I don't know. Like, Will Smith, who's, like, killed many people in this movie, so Deadshot, Floyd Law, and she even, he even thinks that she's, like, cold as, like, all can be. And it's like, it's like, oh. But, like, she's such a bitch. Like, I, I, but like, <laughs> but she does a great job. Like, her acting's great. Yeah. That's what makes us hate her. It's like, uh, like, uh, like Lori in The Walking Dead. Like, like Jack like Gleason. She makes you hurt, he, hate her. Yeah, like yeah. Jack Gleason in Game of Thrones is yeah. Joffrey. Oh, yeah. It's that kind of. It's like that. Like, they do a good job make you hate the character, which is good acting, so. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? I really liked how Ben Affleck worked in the movie. Oh, same, same. Mm -hmm. the, he was cool. I I feared he was in. Yeah, I feared it. Yeah, was he's not gonna, in it much. I feared it was gonna be just it, shots it, of Batman from like far away, so they could just do a stunt guy. But no, it is. It's Ben Affleck. It's so. But people who like def, definitely in the first portion when uh, yeah, we'll talk about that, that later. Oh no, you can tell it's Batman for a good amount. Okay, but um, or Ben. Affleck, can we can we bring up them being? No, no, hold on. Can we just, bring up them being brought to prison or not? No, we'll, in the spoilers we'll like bring up a lot of stuff. Okay. Like uh, so. This is for those who don't want to be spoiled at this fir like first part. So, we we can speak about Batman because he's in the trailer. But there's another great cameo by someone. Yes. Th that you guys will like. If, but I mean, you gotta like keep your eyes open. Don't. I mean, it's really, right. It's, it's right it's, in the middle. It's honestly. It's, you can't miss quick. it. Unless you can't you miss it unless asleep. like yeah, it's hard to miss. But but you'll you'll like it. You know. His lines. You can't miss yeah, it. Yeah, he has a line. You can't really. Miss you can't it. miss the cameo. It's true. But it's one of the definitely the best ones. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Now, Sorry, this is how it looks. Now let's talk about, personally, my favorite part of the movie. Okay. Jared Leto. He was awesome as the Joker. Like he kicked It's great. Ass. It's great. I want so much more from him. Like, I can't wait for the Batman movie. Because, like, I think a lot of the audience is going to love him. So, like, he's definitely going to be in the next Batman movie, for sure. And most likely Justice League, I think, so. He's he's easily the craziest. What you ever well, he's, seen? No. he's insane. No, yeah, he no, he's yeah, insane. Yeah. <laughs> like Heath Ledger, like it's hard to compare them right now. Like I, like I'm not gonna rank Jokers, especially after this. But movie. it's just, but he's really yeah. good. But like I can't compare him to Heath Ledger yet until the first Batman movie. But he's really good. But like with J uh, Heath Ledger, he um he like was actually smart and seemed like what to do. Like this guy just acts. Like he like he's just he he kind of has plans, but like yeah, but like Heath Ledger. He's just not as insane as Jared. Like, Jared's just, like, mental. 
It's crazy. There's something... The the main thing I see when you can see how crazy Jared is, like, his eyes are, like, always, like, wide open. Like, just, like, his, oh. his eyes, you can tell, are nuts. Oh, yeah. Like, he has crazy eyes. For sure. For sure. Like, and that's how you can... That's how you tell. Like, that's where a lot of his acting is. It's just in his eyes. They're just always, like, it's wide open and, like, looks like he's on meth. Yeah. Like, it really does. Yeah. It's awesome, though. I like how him and Diablo both, like, shave their eyebrows, which gives it a little bit of a menacing factor. Diablo shaved yeah, his eyebrows? Yeah, he did. Yeah. They both didn't have eyebrows in the movie, so. It's weird. I, th- I thought Diablo's eyebrows blended with his tattoos. No, yeah, I they're guess gone. He no, yeah, they're gone. I, mean, I guess he didn't have any hair because of, uh... The fire. No. No. Maybe, no. maybe he burned them all off. I mean, that's that's a good point, but... We don't have, know. Could he have hair if, like, if he just... I mean, did he shave his head or, like, it just, just burns off? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Could be fireproof hair. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he can't have a single hair on his body. I don't know. All right. Maybe it's his final form. Yep. Final form. Do you want to talk about the plot? Like, what it... Like... Not what it is, but like what. Oh God. Talk like an overview. Well, get yeah, this is where we're about to go into spoilers. I'd say so. Overall, we both are all of us like really enjoyed it. So that's basically it. We'll give a score at the end, as mm-hmm. always. But so if like just watch this at once you see the movie this part. But anyway, here we go. Where do you want to start? Definitely sets up for the next movie. Oh, for sure. Like really sets up the ending where it, uh, the lightning storm destroys everything. What? The light, like the evil witch spell, yeah, destroys yeah. all the military pretty much. It sets it, up for it, the next movie where they need the Justice League, like one hundred percent. Yeah, I guess they, yeah, yeah I'll definitely do something because that, that's the first thing that pops in my head was like they now need them. Mm-hmm. That's for sure, the first for sure. Of defense. Yeah, that's true. I go so the so as you can probably tell, Enchantress is involved. But she is the main villain. Basically, she, like, she is and her brother, so... Her brother, Incubus, the demon, who looks awesome. That guy looked awesome. He looked cool. I liked how he looked. It wasn't the... What a lot of people were speculating. A lot of people it, thought it was going to be tattooed. It, was, it wasn't the tattooed man that gets turned into this... The, the thing. The tattooed man does nothing in the movie, just so we, just so you guys are clear. Nothing. He, he All he does is get shot by Joker. That's the only thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's that scene, like... Yeah, I got you. I don't know why he's in it, and I don't know why. Or I don't know why, like he gets like the guy, the actor gets like a big credit. I don't know. Yeah. He doesn't do anything. He's in it for thirty seconds. Uh, okay, that's an exaggeration. But he has, like was. a minute. A minute. A maybe minute. two. But it mean, doesn't. It doesn't. What the the point it is? It was just he, basic dialogue. Yeah. And then what it, it was basically doing was just to show more insanity of the Joker. So that's just what that scene was. And shows how much he cares about Harley too. So. Yeah, definitely. Because this Joker like. This movie cares about Adores women. Adores Harley. So, like, I love that. Oh, one of the best part of the, like, ooh, it was so good in this movie. Like, when they did, like, that iconic shot, like, where Harley's in her, like, old, like, jester like, suit. Jester suit, and then <laughs> Joker's in his tux. It's oh, the it's... cover that Alex Ross did. Yeah. Like, they filmed them, like, where they're, like, dancing. They filmed them dancing. Yeah, in awesome. the thing, and I was like, oh my god, it's so, so good. Cool. I was not expecting that at all. It no, was beautiful. Awful. I mean, awesome. Right? She pulls it out of her trunk later, too. Yeah, the yeah. full of the full costume, and she, she decides like, not to like, put it on. Nah. She needs to be more uh, limber. <laughs> <laughs> they, she, she would have that big hammer in that uh, the joke, the jester costume. Oh, that would be so cool. That would have been they nice. so there was the rumor that they edited Margot Robbie's shorts. Like, the thing that she wears. Yeah, but it didn't happen, so. Which is good. I mean, it's not bad. It was, like, I don't know. I was afraid that that, that they did that, like, for, like to tone down the movie for, like, uh, like people that were, like, upset about, like, the violence and stuff like that. Like, to, it's almost, I felt like that it would be, like, a cop-out. They would be, like, pandering to people. But they didn't. They just they kept the movie, like, they kept the same movie. I don't know. That was something I was afraid of. But no, they didn't tone it down or anything. So should we talk about the beginning, like the oh, setup to so, the Bell Rev? So, By the way, the prison spell Rev. If you haven't guessed yet, that's in the trailers. Yeah, yeah but all right. So I love like how each like they showed basically how each person went to prison. Like 
it was cool, like, what they did. They had, like, good songs for each person. Like they Yeah, that's like, something that people are complaining about that. Yeah, like, but, like, I liked it. Like, kind of, like, the songs they choose for each character kind of mixes who they are in a sense. Yeah, yeah, it sets up, like, the emotion of them. It's People complaining about that, it's pretty dumb. And in can, in a way, it's like, I like I liked what they did there. Like, I did, but, like, like I would have loved also to have each character get their own theme in that sequence. Yeah. But it was still cool, and I enjoyed it. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Um, Dead Shots was probably my favorite introduction, honestly. Because that Batman. Because that's where this, that's the big Har- scene. Because Harley's was yeah. crazy. Well, the thing is with Harley, like I enjoyed that, but it was, like it kept going on throughout the movie, so yeah. like I don't really count that. But it was still awesome. No, 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 her getting captured. Her getting captured was cool though, like, but it was really, it was really fast. Like, like yeah, she sp- sprung up from the Lamborghini. Was it a, no, it was a Ferrari. What was the car? I don't know. It, it's not, it's, it's a it's, fast car. Yeah. The one in the trailer. Yeah. She springs up from that, tries to kill Batman. And then you be like, he punches her in the punches face. Punches her oh, right that was right awesome. And that then, so um, cool. uh, and then he has to like, give res- her mouth to mouth. Give her mouth to mouth. And then she, she starts, starts making out. Yeah, yeah. She starts kissing back. So, she shows how definitely shows up. And he's just, he's just like, God. And then, he throws her in the trunk. It's kind of funny. It, it showed uh, it showed how each of the characters, like at least Harley and Deadshot, got like abused in prison, basically. Yeah. Like Deadshot definitely did, but he also like eggs on the guards, which yeah, is like they, they both egg doesn't on. help him out. But a person I honestly really liked in this movie was like the douchebag guard who was like basically with everyone at one point, like um, the basically the guy who Joker yeah. like takes and like. Cat the one. Yeah. Yeah. Ike Barinholtz is the actor. Mm-hmm. I think his character is called like Alpha. I think that's it. Probably. Pro- yeah, but, I think he's. But he's. Re- but he, I liked him a lot, honestly. Like he was, he was just, funny. Douche, and he was funny. So he's like typical guard, but yeah. like you know. But he shows like he like runs the place more than others in a way. So. Yeah, he like he has a lot of control over the inmates. Mm-hmm. Like people, just let like people just let like no one like the warden or whatever. No one like oversees it. He's the one that does it. And mm-hmm. he gets to, like, do stuff to the people, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a douche. Yeah. Um, I liked Killer Croc. Didn't do too much, but I liked his character. Yeah, he's cool. Okay, I have critiques about Boomerang. Okay. Okay, talk Good about Good character. Him. Not in the movie as much as you think you want him to be. Mm-hmm. But I have a problem with his, like... His name's Boomerang, but he uses Boomerang as nice only. Like, he never really throws, he throws it. Him. He throws He does- throws it twice in the entire movie. Okay. Once at Katana... And then one set, the witch, well, where like, it just never comes back. Well, he just didn't do much. I mean, it's, it's fine, but like, it just makes me mad. I mean, I'm a big Flash guy. So. Yeah, but I mean, Boomerang. I kind of Boomerang was cool to me. I liked his like character. Um, That's where the Flash funny. cameo is. Oh yeah! Wow! Just give it away, but <laughs> no, that's what I, I kind of left it out. So yeah, the character that we uh, it's Flash. Yeah, that cameo. It's Flash. He like. Basically takes in boomerang. It's cool. I enjoyed that. He's in a f- like a full on shot. Like it isn't just like that behind uh, the back shot. Like it is. There's like a full wide shot on Flash. Yeah, it's like, and he has it, a line, it definitely so. shows the costume on. Yeah, like, it, a lot it looks more. great. It's very complicated costume. Yeah, it's we- it's kind of weird. So but... I'm assuming in Justice League we're not gonna get the old ring and the costume in the ring sort of thing. And he pops it out and he puts it on and runs. I s- I s- s- I say yeah. maybe eventually because this suit's more like just a prototype. Maybe once he deals with like Reverse Flash and stuff like that, like more of like a futuristic. Because Reverse Flash is from the future, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. So I think it'll be something along those lines. For now, it's just uh, a me- like a mechanical suit, so which is cool. So. Yeah. Yeah, we just get a good look at it in the movie, actually. Mm-hmm. Instead of like see him in action, which was cool. So. The red blur. It was just a red blur. Yeah, and then I was in prison. Boomerang was I don't know. He was really funny though. I really no, like. I, I enjoyed. Always, his always drinking a beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was drinking cans of beer. Oh, Mister, was his unicorn's name Mister Fluffy? I don't know. Did it, it say it? I don't think. I don't so know. it's like he has a. It says like when it introduces him, it says like it says fetish. Pink unicorn, <laughs> and he has this stuffed unicorn. It's so always funny. in his like trench coat. Yeah, he it's, just waves it on him. It's so funny. It's it was great. I don't. I, I didn't expect no it. Explanation. It's so it's funny. Just, yeah, it's just there. It made me think of Deadpool though. With the yeah, maybe Deadpool yeah, too. with the the yeah. white the, just oh, the unicorn. It, it's so funny. Great scene. But okay, what else do we gotta talk about? Just uh, like the okay. What is your opinion? Boomerang. Boomerang. Somehow living through a knife stab in his chest because he, oh, he had money. a lot of money. There's like a big giant stack of money and it saves him. That's yeah. like it because he's just a thief. He's yeah. just like, should I take this? Remember. Should I not take this? Or will I take it? I like it. He's one of the bad guys. No, but all I got to say, um, 
Slipknot, what a wasted character. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. It's so funny. So like, stupid. The thing, the thing is, though, I don't hate it because it just shows, like, what can happen if they go out of line. So yeah. he's just that type of character. He's not even a, like, he's not even a really known character, so... Which it, was is a, cool. it was a good character to waste off. Yeah. But what I did love, though, Diablo, where, who no one knows, kicked ass in this movie. And his story's so, like, sad know. and, like, everything. And then, like, his... Like, in the end fight, he's a badass. He becomes this huge, like, fire monster, like a devil. Like, it's so cool. He becomes the, a, a demon. It's yeah. it's sick. It's all- he fights the thing that, that Enchantress creates. It's, it's like, the, the, the witch spirit. It's like her brother named Incubus, right? And it's this giant monster. It mm-hmm. turns out to be a giant, like... He looks almost Aztec. Yeah, it, Aztec, no, he's definitely, definitely, like, Inca or Aztec. He looked like nature. something, yeah. It looks... So, it looks... So... They, they, the demons talk about how they, like, worshipped, like, thousands of years ago. So, like, obviously, so the, they're, they're like these Aztec-era, like, spirits. Mm-hmm. Like, they're probably the gods to be Aztec or something. It's, I think it's in 6,500 years old. Yeah, it's something like that. Something I, don't know, like that. I don't know how long ago the Aztecs were, but old as fuck. Old as fuck. Uh, but anyway, about... We're all that's what they, that, they're yeah, these, that's what they are. They're these like. two spirits that want to, like, come back. I and know, so, the, um, yeah. Someone I really liked on the team was uh, Rick Flagg. Joel Kenman actually did pretty good, I think. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, he did good. And, uh, oh, biggest waste of an opportunity that the DCEU will ever do was, like, casting Scott Eastwood in such a small role that didn't matter. Like, oh, yeah, that's right. He should have been something more. He was just this guy. He was kind of like a buddy with Rick Flagg. We didn't really do anything. And then his character, yeah, so he blows up. His character sacrifices himself to, yeah. to destroy After, the... The Incubus Monster. Okay, who is Killer Croc fighting in the sewers? Was he just killing the Navy Seals? No, the eyes of the adversary. No, there was just after yeah, him. Oh, okay. come, like come after him. Yeah, I, I thought he was just literally just no, 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 stabbing no. everyone. No, You're, no. The thing is, like, <laughs> I like how like all these characters start to like really like each other, especially Rick Flag. Yeah, end. yeah. Like, because they have a great bonding moment in the bar, especially when Rick Flag comes in. Um. And whatnot, he tells them everything that like they need to know, but they like they want to fight and they want to save the world. Yeah, the only person who's a really loose cannon in this movie and always will be, besides the Joker himself, is Harley. Like even though she cares about like Deadshot and like she seemed to start to care a little bit for Rick Flag, she's still gonna like somewhat turn her backs on him. Like she tried to run away, um, and everything with Mister J himself. Um, but then at the very end, uh, Joker breaks her out of the prison anyway. So, yeah. Which was awesome. It Completely unexpected. No. Because you thought, because you thought it was going to be, like, shots of each of them in prison with, like, all of their, like, new stuff. They're obviously, yeah. like, they're treated better now and stuff like that. Yeah, but they have all their new stuff because they did, like, a good thing for the government, so. Like, Croc has, like, a TV in his, in his cell. And he had a, and he what was the TV Mac? channel again? It was a, it, oh, it was BET. <laughs> <laughs> BET, it was BET. Harley got the espresso machine. Dead she shot. got her espresso machine. Deadshot got... He gets to daughter. visit his daughter. Yeah. And then we don't see what happens. And he, oh, yeah. Di- oh, yeah. Diablo fucking dies. No. Oh. Well... Don't, oh, we don't know. I think he's You know he's back. dead for no, now. No, he's coming back. For now. We know, for now. I know. You, he well, probably could be back, but we know he's dead. As he, like, of right now. He, he's as, now he, as of right now, he sacrificed himself at the same kind of thing. In my opinion, I... With the Scotty's with Yeah, I kind of think of it in like a sense that like he... Like, he blew up, sure, because of the bomb. But then again, can like, explosives kill him? Really? Yeah, can explosives kill him? That's our question. Somehow, like, somehow his body's gonna regenerate eventually. His body or something. Like, he's basically kind of killed by, like, fire in a sense. And I don't know that wouldn't make sense for his character. Like, I know an explosion has a lot more to it, but it's just, like, like an explosion involves Trap ignition. Mill. So... Trap Yeah, but... You never know. You never know. I... I that that was fine. one thing they should have addressed. Like, he should have come back before the movie ended. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could have been an end credit scene. Yeah. We didn't see all the way to the end. Hey, there was, there, there was only one mid credit scene. We'll talk about that. Oh, that was cool. End. But uh, that was really cool. Um, anyway, um, a lot of people say, like, how this movie starts to fall apart towards the end. I still thought it was pretty badass when the end fight. No, I really don't see the problem. Like, like sure, the villain's underwhelming, but they're all villains, and it's like... So what this movie needed to do with its like for the team, they just needed the bond. I don't think we really needed like a strong villain because like they're already all villains themselves. So like the strong have the strong formation of a team to go up against a bigger bad guy. That's fine. That's all we needed. It just like it didn't matter. We didn't need like a character with heart or something like 
I don't know, like Loki or something, and like or Hans Gruber. Like, yeah, you don't need that as of right now. Because that, like, the Joker will probably be that in the Batman movie. So yeah, man. all you really needed was a bad guy. He's doing destroying. He stuff. or she is doing bad things. Mm-hmm. They need to be stopped. That's all you needed. And that's what happens. It brought the, the team together. The only thing that I that I that kind of brings the movie down for me is the random thing that all of a sudden you. So they're they're going to extract someone from the city. Oh, yeah. They're going to get oh, someone out. Yeah. This, Honestly, this made zero sense. Uh, no, well, no, it made zero sense. I honestly, like, it, it I, I was confused. Out, it was by out there. It, no, was out it there. makes no sense. So what happens is they go into this like this skyscraper, and they're gonna extract someone. Like, I, you, they may it sets it up like they're gonna get a team of soldiers out. It's where uh, it's you go in, and it's Amanda Waller. It like is in the in a building in the middle of the city that's being attacked. Like set up with all their computers and all the people are like set up. This is out of nowhere. Yeah, it. It, it makes was, no sense. It didn't make sense. I honestly, the entire week, thought they were just trying to go towards like the light in the sky where Enchantress is. I thought that was actually the mission all along. But then, like I, then I, like I started to think. Then I'm like, all right, we're going to try and do a rescue mission too. But there was no rescue mission. It's just Amanda Waller in a building. So I, I think that I think that there's honestly deleted footage that sets this up. Yeah. In a sense, I feel like there's something. Yeah. There's, I feel like there has to be well, footage. But, but, then, but then again, she did keep them on a need to know basis. No, so I, they they always knew like. Even then, it doesn't make sense. It really. Where, uh, why a, she would be there? It's the biggest. It's a, honestly one of the biggest plot holes in any movie I've ever seen. Yeah, but the thing is, it doesn't matter in the long run. No, yeah, you're right. Because it's a fun movie and they still did no, the it main mission. It didn't exactly. matter. No, I still love the movie, but, like, it's just a big, like, no, what the hell is going on? Like, what is this, what is the setup here? The big machine Enchantress is trying to make at the end of the movie is something that wipes out all modern armies and stuff like that. And the yeah. only reason why she she knows where all the modern armies are is because Amanda Waller is sitting there with her brain being tapped. Yeah. And just yeah. feeding her information. So if Amanda Waller was not in the city at the time, the well, I guess probably, like that's secret, a good that's a good secret, point. secret locations. Would I not guess the rescue probably, probably would like the rescue mission itself and like, um, it's basically just saving Amanda Waller, but they didn't know that, and it's just like to make sure that Enchantress doesn't get her, but she does anyway. The so. only yeah, the only information that is lost on me is why she's there in the first place. Her being there, you're right. Her being there and getting captured by Enchantress makes sense, but it would make sense if she was in the Pentagon or something, but she wasn't. Yeah, it's yeah. A nice teleportation scene would have been good. But yeah, there's just not. It's just out of nowhere, but her the reason for her character being there is fine, but they give no setup to her being there. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. the reason in the plot is there, but there's no setup. It's just like. Oh, she's there. All right. Um, who was your favorite character in the movie and why? But we'll just do squad members first. Okay. Because I think all, of, like at least my favorite character overall was Jared Leto's Joker. But it's not a squad. I I, oh. I know. I'm saying overall, but like oh, that's why I said that's why we're just gonna do squad members. Listen. Okay. You want me to start? Well, yeah, you can start. We'll go. You just started. Okay. So same as you, my favorite character was Jared. Because it's just awesome. That's Mr. J. Yeah. And then favorite squad member would be probably Diablo, honestly. Yeah, Diablo was actually really yeah. awesome. It's Diablo. He has the coolest, like, most humanizing story mm-hmm. where he, like, just in a rage one, one day, like, accidentally, like, burns down his house with his family in it, mm-hmm. and they die. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's right. who he is for me. Well, mine... Uh, would probably be like Will Smith's Deadshot because like he was actually a really great character, but it's him or Harley because like Harley like with her we had a lot more like of a compelling story with her background so we got a lot of flashbacks of her and her story, and with that you get like jo- the Joker in that so, um I like that, so that's honestly probably my favorite parts of the movie was like her backstory because like her being at Ace Chemicals with the Joker that was awesome that, I yeah like, I like, like that little shot and like just him making her a Harley and I, it kind of seemed like he wanted her to die in a sense and get rid of her but then he's like 
because he was walking away, but then he like he's like, you know, what? I'm gonna go in after because yeah, I care true, about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So he goes in after, and I was really like human of the Joker, the Duke. So he loves this person. Yeah. So yeah, it's Harley or Deadshot. So. Oh no. Okay, sorry. Uh, so going into the movie, favorite characters were gonna be Boomerang, and I kind of already knew about Flash because I saw the blue lightning. Okay. And Flash was my day. Yeah, but, but coming out of it. Harley was probably my favorite squad cool, character. Cool, cool. No, okay. Harley was really okay. good. Like, I, I like the uh, like the whole crazy part good. about her. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no Margot Robbie nailed her character. Yeah, she did. Like yeah, like even the creator herself, like of um, Harley Quinn, like thinks Margot Robbie did a great job. So it was great. So props to her. Um, favorite overall. Yeah, probably Amanda Waller. I just really? I, that, that was probably the yeah. best performance. It was, it was, it was yeah, awesome. No, it was a great performance. It makes you hear. In, in a way, she was the villain of the movie because you're already bad guys. And so, yeah. So like, but she was just like she seemed like a bad guy herself. So. She really was, and even though she even honestly she even like blackmailed Flag into it. Yeah. Because he wanted out eventually. Like once he heard that, and all it was, the people... like it was uh, June who's Enchantress, like possession, like the possessed body of June. So. He wanted out. Well, no, it was uh, when he heard that Enchantress got or June, Doctor June got infe- infected by Enchantress. Well, and then they so then they, she they won a thing that when she got yeah. So then so. Amanda Waller placed Flag with them and like made them fall in love pretty much. Yeah, yeah. All part so of then the plan. so then Amanda Waller had Enchantress under control due to the heart. Which then had flag under control, so she pretty much controlled the whole team. Yeah, oh, she was, always had control. It was good. The only okay. person she'll never have control of is Batman, most likely, because he had in control of the mid credit scene. So, yes. Okay, let's talk about that then. All right, we'll talk about the mid credit scene. So mid. Yes. yes. I keep mid just in the middle of the movie. It's an end credit scene. Just say, it's at the end. No, just say mid credits, and you hear credits. That's the end of the movie. Scene. Oh. Scene. So, so middle of the credits scene. Okay, there we go. So what it is basically, Amanda Waller's having dinner at like that same location as like uh, where she was earlier in the movie, talking to like these to these CIA guys or like government yeah. guys. Yeah. But in this case, she was talking to Bruce Wayne himself, mm-hmm. and so he's basically like getting information about these metahumans. So he gets information on Flash and Aquaman. So and basically, he like I swore it was Katana. But you say it's it was not, Enchantress. It's Enchantress. It's but Enchantress is Jen, so why would she get why would he get She's it? just in it's a picture of Enchantress in the file. In the file. In the no, first that's just first no, person. You understand that's just the file like that she was showing like Rick Flag earlier of all these people. But like what he it's all the meta What he wanted though is basically to know more about Aquaman and Flash, because those, those are the people he thinks are the strongest yeah. that he wants on his team. So basically he like for, for exchange for this big huge binder of of classified information, he like Says he, he'll do like a favor. No, uh, no, it's protection. He'll protect her in case she yeah. ever gets in trouble because she has a lot of information that other people. Yeah. Might okay. Need. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. So keeping hit her under his belt or you know, something some like that. Like, but watch, then he'll watch her and she'll she'll watch give him. him. But then it's but then it's revealed that she does know he's Batman. Oh, oh she, she, she always knows. knows. She knows everything. So. Which is kind of kind of cool. Yeah. Like but she movie. also, but then, well, you could also say she tipped off Batman to get Deadshot in, in the beginning, so. Was it just me or No. Did, yeah, she did. She, oh, did. Did. she, she said did. that. No, she tipped she it off. Like, she's, like, she was already inside with Batman all along, or Bruce and John. Yeah. I think they were actually working together so, back when he was, like, not retired. But, what yeah. I, but, um. Was that mid credit scene? Was it, you think it happened before or after the. the after whole? the events of the movie. It's after the events. I think it's before. Because no, if it's Enchantress... It's clearly after the events of the movie. It's, it's just could, it's just the fact it, that the file was still in the binder, dude. I'm just... I can't drop it. You're, Something is Katana. It's, it's, it's clearly you, not Katana. What do you think about Katana? I thought, she's, I thought I'll she might... Note, she's cool in the movie. She's, she's pretty cool. cool. No, it didn't cl- do too much, but she was cool. She doesn't cool. speak English, so... Yeah, she, no, she, 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 she did. She's, she even, she, she speaks English She says once. a couple things. Yeah, you have to read. I mean, she's bilingual, but... And she kills people. She's cool. I liked her, but uh, she needed more stuff. I mean, like she needed more to do, but it's fine. Um, I yeah. I just wish. I feel like there's another scene with her before she walks into the bar with them. Yeah. Like there, I feel like there's another scene no, of her I interacting with there. another member before she all gets all buddy buddy with them. I hear that. that boomerang. No. No. There's another scene. No. I feel like there should be another. Oh, there should be. I there there is like in the movie. No, I, I feel like there is one second. where she like no. is talking to another person. Mm-hmm. Anyway. No, um, Bruce Wayne is just getting information on the Justice League members, and that's how he finds Arthur Curry. 
in the beginning yes. of Justice League. He knows where he is now. But what? But um, then Amanda Waller says, uh, "You shouldn't be going out at night." Blah blah blah. Something like you that. You shouldn't work nights or something. Nights like that. You look tired. Well, she either. obviously knows. She knows about bad. that. But then he said, "You should shut down Argus. Like yeah. we'll take it from here." And he's referring to the Justice League he's going to create. He's, no, he's like, like my he friends. Means, my, he means shut down the squad. Shut right. down the time squad, time. or my friends. If DC, or my, and then he goes, my friends will take care of. Okay, some of that I don't remember the whole thing. Oh, yeah. My friends but and I, if, or something like that, will take care of. If it. they, if the directors and all that stay true to the comics, she will keep it going. Oh, she, she's gonna keep it going because she never trusts them. Well, because completely because there's gonna be like it's kind of like thing of civil war. But or the something. squad wouldn't stand a chance against the no, no, Justice League. No, 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 not the squad. No, they they develop weapons against certain. No, the reason. Oh, okay, no, okay. like they develop. The Batman weapons. himself does that though too. No, the main yeah. reason she's gonna keep the squad itself Martha. is because <laughs> of the fact that there's gonna be like other like meta human threats that the Justice League probably won't just take out on her own. It's gonna be like civil war. How like she doesn't trust them all the way, like the the heroes all the way, but she's gonna trust herself because she has these people in her demand. Like because yeah. if they get out of line, they're dead. And then I think the next movie was, is gonna be getting Harley back. From where? Maybe. Which the, best, the next Squad movie. Squad movie. I think yeah. The best DC movie. It probably will be getting Swab it. Like I think the villain of the next Squad movie will be Joker Ooh. and getting back Harley. So. Yeah. Because as we said earlier, he breaks into using the information that he gets from the one Alpha guy. The alpha guard, mm-hmm. he breaks into the, the prison. Yes. And they're all so his crew is dressed as guards. They all break in and get Harley. His, out. Uh, his thing even his says thing Joker. His thing says like all the uh, other guards right. say like they're like a number, well, but his yeah. says Joker. His, his says Joker. Joker. Like, he takes that. off the mask. I knew that <laughs> from the from the first. No, from the yeah, you know who it is. When that yeah, when the bomb went off, it helps that it's like in the same room as Harley. Like too, like like that's where the breach is itself. So it's like you know it's Joker getting Harley back. So. So that's yeah. cool. Though. No, it was, it was what dope. does he say? We're going home. We're going home. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Good line. What I honestly really liked seeing the movie was like how Enchantress was getting inside their minds and like mm. showing like oh yeah, stuff. showing them everything. And like my favorite one was like uh, Harley's. Yeah, she's, like normal. She has two kids with the Joker, and the and he Joker's had, normal. Yeah, like her face a, is normal too, and it's and it's just Jared Leto with no makeup yeah, or his Jared hair Leto. is just the same hair, like slicked back, mm-hmm. and he's like just in a regular like work suit. Yeah. Yeah. Like a family. So it's cool. I like that. And then Dead Shots was cool. It's like he kills Batman, which was cool. So I like that. And then Diablo is his whole family's back. Yeah. yeah. I, there was there wasn't a boomerang one. I wish they showed everyone on the screen. I wish they showed everyone. Yeah. Oh, and they had a flag one too where uh Dr. Oh, he's, Dr. He's, Dr. Jones was Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones. Sorry. Dr. Jones. Sorry. Dr. Jones. Sorry. Dr. No, <laughs> it's Dr. Dr. Jones. He's with uh he's just with June. Yeah. I, I think boomerangs that'd be so funny if he was he was on Is a it, date with Katana. <laughs> <laughs> that and then like he goes home or like then he's, he's like, like no no he's running through a meadow and like there's a big old pink <laughs> unicorn or something. That would, <laughs> or they or they just made like a reference to Deadpool because like how Deadpool's got the unicorn yeah. and he's doing it. They like he had like in, it was him walking up with the unicorn and some you know, lotion. <laughs> oh oh, oh. just but, like anyway. just give like a I think s- that if they would have done. Boomerangs. He would have been on a date with Katana, yeah. and then if it was Katana's, uh, Katana she would have been, been with her husband, yeah. who's dead. Yeah. And then was there anyone else that was? Oh, Crocs. I don't know. Crocs just you know normal. What he what he gets in the uh, yeah in the jail cell. He has his Big Mac and, he and he's watching big TV. he's watching rap music videos on yeah. BET. Hey, there you go. Eating eating Big Macs. Yeah. So that's it. He, he got his dream. So hey, there you go. He did get his dream at the end. Mm-hmm. And then that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's all the squad people. Yeah, yeah. those who matter. Yeah, yeah. Slipknot. Slipknot. Who knows? R.I.P. His <laughs> R.I.P. The thing Slipknot. That, the thing is, like, he his character looks cool. Oh, he with looked the hair cool. and everything. I liked how he looked, but like, even his ability is just retarded. It's an infinite rope. How is that not like? I mean, but he, cool, but it but goes so slow. It just like, zzz, like I don't know. It's it's well, it's so underwhelming. It's not like Batman's grappling hook where yeah. like, he does something. He's basically gone instantly. So mm. it's yeah. You'd think it would be like that, but it's but really it's not, slow. Yeah. I do like when he decks the chick, though. No, yeah. That was so funny. Like, he, he gets out of the FBI... It's in the trailer, but yeah. he, when he gets out of the FBI car, and he just, there's just a woman in front of him, he goes, boom, and he knocks her <laughs> to the ground. Oh, they they like, all do that. It's so Boomerang funny. does it. Yeah. He ships what is this, from Australia. What is this 12, 12 pounds of shit in a 10-pound bag? Yeah, yeah. And then he pops out and punches two people. 
Uh, he's in like jeans. It's kind of funny though. Somehow he's yeah. in just like jeans and a, a wife beater. Yeah. yeah, I think he came from a different prison. He comes from Australia. Yeah, he yeah. definitely came from somewhere. No, because he was in America. That's why Flash got. Well, it was probably no, wherever. It wasn't in the. No, yeah, no, 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 no. There's a trailer. There's a trailer like breakdown video, and then on the close up of the bag, it says Australia. Yeah. So I'm right. Wait, what bag? The bag uh, gets he cut out of. It's like he was shipped over. He was oh, shipped okay, from right. Australia. Or maybe he, maybe he went back to prison in Australia. It doesn't but matter. he was caught in America. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, that's okay. true. That's true. He got expedited. Yeah, expedited. Um, it's a good word. All right. Well, overall, it's the legal we term. overall we love this movie. So yeah, I guess we can give our scores. We can start with Bradley. Okay. I'm gonna go eight point five out of ten slaps for me. Um, like, like all the character stuff was what made it awesome. The like even the villains, I still thought the villains were cool. The villains were. Cool. The only thing that bugs me is just the plot hole with Amanda Waller. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that brings it down for me. Right, you can go next if you'd like. Uh, I said nine out of ten. Yeah, I, I just pretty wow. much. I pretty wow. much agreed with Brad about everything. Yeah, I like the characters and all that. The only thing that I guess the the Amanda Waller thing doesn't bother me as much. The one thing that did bother me a lot though was Harley following out of the. Harley oh Harley. yeah, you saw Harley, that in the car. Harley, like Harley's following, following, following. Falling with her back down, yeah. and then in the next shot, she's she like, lands on her she feet lands on her feet like, and does like, like a she's standing straight and up, jumps up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just like it, it looks like they're shot. They missing. just need like one frame of her, like or like a few frames, Starting, of her straight, like yeah. straightening out. Yeah, then it would be fine. But <laughs> that's, that was just like, nope, she's dead. Also, Joker does. All right. Well, Rude. you think he did? <laughs> yeah. For like literally an explosion. Like he 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 like the, 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 the helicopter blows up that he's in and like hits the ground. But it's like yeah, you're gonna kill, yeah, you you're gonna you're gonna kill, kill the, the Joker. Joker. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, what about you? All right. I'll I agree, with Brad, because our score is gonna be the same. Eight point five. Um. I agree, mostly the same. Like the Amanda Waller thing, like could have been more explained. Like why she was there. I'm telling you, there's, there's a deleted there's scene. There's definitely something there on like the f- like cutting room floor, my opinion. But um, I love the movie. I thought it was awesome. It's my least favorite in the DCU yeah. though, but it's still awesome. And so our average score is like a B. So yeah, there you go. It's like a high. It's a high it's B. A high it's our average. So about an eighty-seven. Yeah. So well, thank you all. Um, okay. Get ready I for can... those uh, those big. What I forgot the word it was called, but all the screenshots of their uh, bios. Oh, yeah. Oh, from the book. book characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's going to be a good read. Oh, no, yeah, but hey, there we go. Those Great movie. Internet, Thank you. Tonight. We recommend, do not listen to yeah, the haters. Don't listen to haters. If you're a fan, or even if you just like want a fun movie, if you don't even like Yeah, definitely, definitely Tinkers, a fun movie. It's a fun movie, so don't just go, go it. see it. You'll enjoy it. So Like, what, it, what DC just proves with each movie now is that it's all for the hardcore comic book fans. It all is. the hardcore comic book fans like it. Like obviously we we all here are hardcore fans. We admit that there's like there's a couple problems. things with the plot that you can fix, but the movie's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was great. like and for especially with all these combo movies, even if it's Marvel or DC, you go for the characters. Oh, for sure. So for sure. At, right. When you think about that, it, everything else doesn't matter. It's all great. Yeah, great movie. So definitely recommend. So give it a go. Now enjoy yourselves. Thanks again. Um, yep. leave, leave a slap on that like button and subscribe. So I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, thanks again, guys. Share the vid. Sign, we're signing out. Signing out. I don't know what we're doing. We're, we're signing <laughs> out to me.